Hi, I'm Pete Snodden and welcome to this month's In TV. Today we are on location at the outlet just outside Banbridge. Coming up on In TV, we talked to Laurie Moore, this year's Miss Northern Ireland, and some former holders of the crown as well. But now we cross to the Clodden Hotel to find out exactly what's going on at this year's Absolutely the Business, which is featured on this month's social pages of In Magazine. We sent Katie Larmer down to find out exactly what's going on. Thanks, Pete. Yes, Absolutely the Business is the business fashion event of the year. It sums up absolutely everything that is fabulous about Polish businesswomen in Northern Ireland today. in your high profile job oh gosh that, that is one heck of a question well you're on stage you have to look the part especially an event like this so full of ladies and you need to have something that you feel comfortable in as well Lawrence what do you think the well-heeled ladies in Northern Ireland um, I think well-heeled is a very very good way of describing it actually I don't think I've seen quite so many uh, precipitous Jimmy Choo shaped shoes on quite so many uh, lovely and very glamorous ladies I've just got a horrible feeling that if someone rolled a grenade in here, you know, we'd lose most of the glamour of the Western Hemisphere. What do you think um, of the style of the women you've seen here this evening? I think everyone looks absolutely amazing. I always think that the Irish ladies look amazing when they go out. And everyone's really gone for it, though, with the, the diamonds and the dresses and ball gowns and things and the dicky bows, so everyone looks really smart. What we tried to go for tonight as well was a lot of really good basics, because business women will get a lot of wear out of, say, maybe a really good pencil skirt or a really good jacket, and showing them how they can accessorise to do that through the day, um, which I think is another thing that's really important, and also then showing them the trends of this season. So obviously just saying, you know, take your basic pencil skirt and then maybe add in a bit of colour, which will take you up to a trendy season, because again, you know, they are constantly busy, they don't want to have to think about it all the time. Many thanks to Katie, and that is just one of the events featured in this month's In Magazine. Welcome back to the outlet here in Banbridge as we celebrate 25 years of Miss Northern Ireland. We've come here today to catch up with this year's Miss Northern Ireland, Laurie Moore, and a lot of lovely ladies who have been Miss Northern Ireland in the past to find out just what it was like being Miss Northern Ireland, the ups, the downs, and of course, what they are doing now. Alison Campbell, you always make me feel so small, so I'll stand on my tiptoes. How are you? I'm good, good, thank you. 25 years of yourself organising Miss Northern Ireland. It's been a bit of a roller coaster. I can't believe how fast 25 years has gone, and I mean, every year just gets faster and faster, but I mean, way back in 1987 when I ran, you know, the first Miss Northern Ireland, um, it was such a change from then until now. Your time as Miss Northern Ireland is coming to a close, are you sad? I am, but it's pretty exciting. We had the first heat um, just this week there and it was amazing, so I'm really looking forward to the next 11. Do you have fond memories of your time as Miss Northern Ireland? I loved it, yeah. It was a bit of a whirlwind, you know, because I was at university and, you know, it was just sort of being in the right place at the right time. Blue Peter and TV presenting and, of course, being on Channel 5 now. Do you think that is down directly from being Miss Northern Ireland? I think that there's a lot of things on, you know, on a person's CV which will, you know, make it really colourful and make them appealing for different jobs. And I definitely think that having won Miss Northern Ireland is, is such a big bonus on my CV. What was the highlight for you? Probably travelling to South Africa uh, to Miss World was fantastic. Just meeting other girls and mixing with them and just seeing how 
well they were treated and um, it was lovely just to go and represent Northern Ireland too and uh, really show them what we're made of. Twenty five years of Miss Northern Ireland is of course our main feature in this month's in magazine. Margaret Connolly, editor, joins me now. What else is in this month's mag? Well this month um, we have an interview with Alan Simpson, who of course is the ambassador for the North Coast. So we'll be catching up with him and all his sort of latest news with his radio programme and anything else that he's up to. Um, also we have an interior supplement featuring this issue, which I'll look at everything in all areas of the home, from the bedroom, bathroom, living room, kitchen, and there's a few nice interviews in there with some of our top interior designers, including Ian Thompson and Chris Turnbull. So that is it for this month's In TV at the Outlet Banbridge. Hopefully you've enjoyed our insight into this month's main feature. There's lots more going on in this month's In Magazine, Northern Ireland's Social Monthly. Until next time, see ya.